This is the biggest mistake that you can make in your life, and it's not what you think. Hi, my name is Nicole Justine Reed. What is the biggest mistake that you can make in your life? It may not be what you think. Your mind might be racing around, oh, it could be this, it could be that, like all these other mistakes that I've made or beating yourself up for that. It's none of those things. The biggest mistake you can make in your life is to not be true to yourself, to live for others' desires instead of your own, and to disconnect from who you truly are. Because the greatest gift that you can give to yourself is actually self-expressing yourself in all these beautiful ways. That's the best gift you can give to yourself, and actually it's going to be the best gift that you can give to anyone else too. We all benefit when we are all authentic with each other. It's really interesting because um, so last week I think I had this realization that I think if everybody was really truly themselves, as in like they take their masks off, you know, they take their fears off, you know, they get to really be the, their best selves, we'd all probably like each other, right? I mean, think about it. We'd all really like each other because there are people in this life that just um, express this exuberance, right? And you just want to be around them. And then there are people who are maybe critical or harsh or, you know, all these other kinds. And then it's hard, like you don't really want to be around them. But that is probably not really who they are. That's them like protecting themselves or, you know, hiding or worried about what you're thinking and so it's coming out the wrong way or whatever miscommunication is happening. And so the biggest mistake that you can make is to put others' desires in front of your own. If they want you to do something with your life and you go and do that to try to make them happy and you're totally shutting yourself out and you're not following your own wisdom, you're going to be miserable, you're going to feel unfulfilled, life will not have the meaning that you feel like you want it to, and you're wondering what's going to be off, you'll feel stuck and lost. You'll always be grasping to try to make somebody else happy, and will it be happy? I don't know, right? Maybe temporarily with that one thing until you have to keep feeding that over and over again with other things, and then you've lost yourself, right? So I really also want to make a big distinction here that this has nothing to, this is not, I'm not saying don't serve other people, right? Not at all, right? What I'm saying is be true to yourself. And if somebody else has a different truth for what they think your truth should be, do not listen to that. Listen to your own truth. Tap into your own wisdom and follow your own self because it will really be in the benefit, the best interest for everybody. And when you do that, when you come from this place of being that is your light and your your authentic true self, that love will emanate forth and spill over into wanting to help people. You will genuinely want to help people. It won't come from a place of, oh, I need to please them so that they like me or validate me. It will come from a place of overflow. I have so much love to give because I so love myself and my life and I want everyone else to have this feeling. So how can I give in all these amazing ways? It's a very different experience of life. Very different. So, you know, if you're going to make any mistakes in life, right, this is the one to avoid, right? It's okay to learn and grow. It's okay to, um, you know, try new things and experiment and see what you like. And, you know, we all fall down. We all pick ourselves up, right? And this is all part of the process of deconditioning, really. Um, and so, you know, this is not to throw another one of these warnings onto you, right? But an awareness. Bring it to your consciousness. Am I living my life for myself? Am I being the leader of my life? Am I being truly authentically me? Am I expressing who I am with everyone that I'm with? And if I'm not, what's going on? Why am I hiding? You know, what are the blocks? What are the fears? Those are the things to heal because you will always have that sense of that sort of lack of fulfillment or restlessness or feeling stuck or lost or despairing or however it shows up for you and whatever level is going on. You will have that feeling until you are true to yourself. So do not live your life for other people. Live it for you. You came here to experience life fully. So do it on your own terms. And when you do that, you'll include everyone else, right? Because who you truly are will spill forward into more and more love, not less. Thanks for being with me here today. Go out and be your authentic true self with everyone you meet today. And please extend that joy inward. Be authentic with you first and foremost.